All right, let's take a look at how to turn this data table into a graph. Uh, while it is a skill to do it by hand, uh, Google Spreadsheets has some nice uh, automated features. Make your, make your graph look really professional. So first of all, you need to select just the cells that have numbers. You don't want to get these labels involved or you'll have problems. So select all of that and then go insert chart and from here let's see new chart editor yeah 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 dismiss okay I want I don't want a bar graph I want a line graph and this right here is close but this is the one I want and let's take a look here there's a lot of options so if you check and uncheck these things you'll be sadly disappointed um, yeah so it ends up looks like it's pretty much automatically set up to the right settings you go to customize now and that's where there's a lot of different things you can do smooth I think is good um, let's see what's maximize do now that that would be to try to get rid of the margins um, let's see chart and axis titles I think I would like my students to have just straightforward um, actually let's see temperature versus time time is the independent variable here so I want to put that first so we should say and then versus and I don't like the little dot the little period in between I'd say lowercase vs <clears throat> now let's see oh right here I want to center it I think that looks good um, see series you can change the line color um, let's see line thickness here you can choose these points which I think don't look very good unless they're real small so if you don't want to have those points you can just click none but I would if you're gonna use them make them really small so they're not obtrusive to the eye and then this trend line thing I think is good error bars might actually be good hold on that for some reason it's giving me a lot more ceiling um, that's okay error bars is kind of cool because it shows the window of possible error and then um, the trend line I think is cool because um, well not just like that a straight line wouldn't actually follow that very good this is more of a uh, let's take a look there's linear which is what it already is there's exponential which doesn't make sense polynomial actually follows it pretty closely logarithmic also does I think I'm gonna go with logarithmic and the line color, I'm going to make the line color a different color. Let's see, reddish. No, that's too hard to see. Maybe a little darker. Maybe just straight. Yeah, that's good right there. And, uh, yeah, the opacity, that's how uh, transparent it is or whatever. Uh, thickness, let's see. You might want to actually make it thicker. We'll go with four point. Um, now we go down to legend. Um, let's see you'd have to take a look to the right here that's the legend and I actually don't want one so I'm gonna have none and then um, go to the horizontal axis let's see that'd be the bottom axis if you click treat labels as text um, you get a little different view I think I'm gonna leave it like that unchecked um, and then let's scroll down let's go to vertical axis uh, I don't see too much that needs changing there let's go to grid lines um, right now we're applying the grid lines whatever we adjust is going to go to the vertical axis and I'm going to do a minor let's see major grid line count I think I want five or let's try it was maybe that's the same as auto uh, if we say 10 that might go good with what we have here 
or let's try a few less. Let's try five. Um, yeah, I don't know. But the minor grid line count, we can do a bunch of tiny ones. Uh, I don't know if you can even see that. A vertical axis oh, shows over here. Okay, evidently they're there. It's just really hard to see. So if I made them make, make them a little bit darker. Yeah, let's do... Um, yeah, that's just too busy. I'm going to do five. And here do maybe I don't know, two. And this is going to have to be a little darker, I think. I'm going to make that darker so I can make the minor grid lines not so dark. So that's good. And now I'm going to switch to horizontal axis and do the same sort of thing. I'm going to say 5 or 10. No, that scoots everything back too much. So I'm going to do 5. And I'll make this kind of dark. And then minor grid line, I'm going to have probably 5 also. <clears throat> that's looking good. So... Yeah. All right. Now, what else is there? I think that's it for the options. So if we hit um, X, here's our graph. And let's see, there might be a few other things we can do. We can make this bigger so that the label isn't taking up so much space. Um, let me close this. Click on this. Whoops. Scoot this down. Close it again. All right, so that looks pretty good. And if you grab onto, like up here by the margin, you can scoot it around. I think it's a good idea to make it sort of match the size of the data table. And what you want to do, like right now, if I click here, it's selected. You can hit Control C. Then you can go over to your uh, science project write up and paste it right in there. Um, that's about all I can think of that would make this look good, so uh, thanks for watching.